the sub once again and today we'll be checking out on uh, it's a random tutorial so i'll be just going through some various techniques of scratches and scratch patterns anything uh i can't say i've prepared something but once we jump in sony acid i believe we will be ready so i've already loaded my track everything is set up the beat mapper has come through the song is 99 bpm and i've uh, increased it to 103 so we are ready so uh, i'll just play it like for five seconds then you know the track that we'll be working on yeah yeah that's enough oh so the first thing that uh, i want to show you guys is a certain uh, technique that i usually use it most of the times when i'm i'm doing like my one minute one minute mashups or even in my mixes uh, mixes so i'll just open another audio track so that i can use this lower thick and thin lines for visibility for better visibility so the first thing that i usually do uh, i'll just like the normal the normal stuff on our 16 16 boxes make sure we, we are on our 16 boxes yeah <laughs> So the first thing that I'll do, I'll just uh, I, I can put that over there, slice it and delete. Then take this, copy and paste it over here. So when you hear it, yeah. So I wanna do something, something small over here. Like this will be the first, first technique that we'll be checking. So what I wanna do, I'll just go, go to my where I usually. I have my DJ drops and take my DJ drop here it is and drag it and place it over here make sure the clip properties of the drop is one shot right uh, click on the acid type if I'm going too fast I believe you'll have to go and check out uh, the previous tutorials where I explain everything that uh, will make your workflow a little bit faster so I'll, this is where my drop says i let me solo it dj dj so i want this part of dj i'll unsolo it then use my the uh, my numbers my numbers button on my keyboard if uh, that's that if uh, that happens when you have a full keyboard so i have a full keyboard so if you don't have you will just have to zoom in and zoom out till you reach to the first point then slice and delete this you don't need it so since it's already in the 16 boxes what you want to do next we just will slice here and delete this uh, the rest so we'll just copy this uh, the, our normal scratches just like that then we we drag it a little maybe around there so another thing i usually like to add another audio track at the bottom for visibility so, so we'll make a, a a small scratch I'll copy this over here and then yeah just like that make this one reverse and make it negative three it's it's for your liking you sh uh, it's not a must that you use negative negative three you can use even positive one it's how you want it reverse and positive one over here so when you listen to it this is how it will sound like yeah just like that then another thing that I usually do on this lower audio track, I will come on this track effects, right click on it, plugin chooser, then come to my Sony Express Delay. I'm pretty sure if you're using the default Sony Acid that you have just installed, it usually does it does not come with this uh, added uh, plugin. So what I usually do, I usually install Sony Acid, Mu Sony Music Studio, something of that sort so that i can use its plugin on sony acid so i'll just come over if you i will if you don't have the sony uh, music studio just uh, leave a comment and i will uh, leave a comment with your email and then i will drop it to your email so i'll just double click on the delay express delay make sure it's at, uh, at the top and then press ok and then the plugin uh, the audio track will come over here so what i'll do i'll come on the presets and choose dreamscape 
Dreamscape. When I choose Dreamscape, I'll come over here and copy this and paste it at the bottom. Then come over here where you 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 will see a double double arrow line. Uh, line. And then you click and drag it to the middle. Yeah, just like that, so, so that the uh, the volume can be a little bit uh, low, so that we can focus on the audio, the volume of the upper sound. So when you play it, this is it, how it will sound. So another thing, uh, I'm pretty sure up to there we are together. So another thing, you can come and do the same thing. You can just copy this and paste it over here, 16 boxes. Now, oh, uh, since we are doing the same thing, now we will try to change the the patterns, the scratch patterns. So I'll just copy this and this over there and drag this over here and make it uh, the same size as this. And then do the same thing, copy and paste it at the bottom. I'm using the shortcuts, uh, lab, uh, keyboard shortcuts, control C and control X and control Z and control V. Yeah, I'll uh, no on this side. I'll make this negative one, negative two, negative three, just like that. Negative five. Then, if we, when we listen it from the top, this is how it will sound like. So, another thing that I want to do since it's saying D, we, I want to add the J, and I believe here it is. Let, let us zoom in. J we just slices and delete the rest then you come and place it over here 16 boxes slice and delete yeah, and then we'll grab this and place it over here we are just doing the same thing that we have done b uh, back before now we just change the pattern just like that yeah positive 2 now you can continue making now this you won't like add this over here now add it over here yeah yeah just like that <coughs> delete the rest reverse negative one negative and four and then take this copy it and paste it over here and paste it at the bottom too then reduce the volume a little yeah so another thing that I've forgotten you can even fade it make it fade so just come to the to this and fade it as well and this and fade it too so if we oh, if you listen to it from the top just like that and then you can come over here paste this yeah then drag this and place it over here and zoom make sure I on 16 boxes too now scratch I, we want to scratch this bit click oh paste it and paste it then drag it to positive three just like that and then we listen it from here just like that so you, you, let's say the song is, is uh, it's continuing so we listen to it from the top just like that and another thing you can grab a <coughs> you can slice here and grab a, another effect it make sure it's one shot then look for the path that you want I want over here over here I'm using my directional key to move frame by frame slice and delete oh, it's already 16 boxes I see then you can slice and delete the rest make a scratch right now what you can do you can just pull this to be longer just like that and then you can copy it and paste it over yeah over here is okay then copy and paste it on the delay D 
the delay term and fade it to fade it so when you listen to it let's say from here let us use here <laughs> So another thing you can do, you can come over here and paste it. <coughs> Make sure you're on the 16, 16 boxes. So since you uh, let's say, let me use another audio track to make the work a little bit easier. Since uh, we're already on the 16 boxes, what I'll do, I'll come to the option, grid spacing, and come to the 64th note triplets. I repeat, you make sure you're on your 16 boxes and you've already make, made, uh, make your scratch for the 16 boxes. Then come to option, grid spacing, and 64th note triplets. You'll see how this is how, don't zoom in or no, or don't, or, and don't zoom out. So what you'll do, you'll just make sure this snaps. You, since it's big, you make sure it snaps to be one. So what you'll do, you'll just come, make sure you are, this blinking cursor is on the right side of the the scratch and make sure the scratch is highlighted as well and then you copy control c then you paste it 16 times now since we have already we already have one we're gonna paste uh, 15 of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now we have 16 so the next thing that we'll do we'll make sure this is negative uh, we, we, let us start from here now you can zoom in for visibility when you are pitching it down negative one negative two until you reach negative 16 just like that so the next thing that you'll do uh, you come back to your option grid spacing and uh, come back to your the default rulers ruler mark yeah now we are good so what you do you press v on your keyboard and this line of volume will appear so what you do you come and double double uh, double click over here and double click over here so <coughs> since we may use this audio track let's say we, when you are mixing we'll, we will want to use it so what you'll do you double click again so that when you you reduce the volume over here anything on the left won't be affected so you double click over here again then so when you reduce the volume everything on the left will remain constant nothing will change so uh, uh, the same thing uh, over here you will just uh, double click so that when you push this anything going on the right won't be affected so what we'll do we'll reduce the volume over here yeah just like that and then we can increase it to till over here so uh, since you're on 16 boxes you can come over here slice this one and control z to undo the slice and paste this over here and drag it you know you can paste it over there make sure you you, you it's it's like a normal scratch you've already jumped three boxes yeah so when you listen to it from let's say here this is what it will sound like yeah just like that so another thing that i would like to add it's a, like a flip double or or a beat grid something of that sort so just zoom into your normal 16 boxes yeah make sure let us see yeah we can use this audio track we can copy this down here and then it's not a must use 16 boxes so what you'll do you just come 
you can zoom in till you see like eight boxes when you see eight boxes you come to this middle longer uh, uh, longer line so and then you drag this or you drag till here just like that and then you uh, don't highlight anything so you just click where there's nothing then you press press on your keyboard so that it can slice both top and the bottom you slice you slice slice make sure you are jumping four boxes for now but it it depends if you're on a 16 boxes you will slice it at eight if you are at eight boxes you'll slice it at four yeah now you come and delete this this just z like a zigzag yeah just like that you can delete it and then over here you can slice and delete th that one so when you listen to it this is how it will sound like just like that so uh, that's like the basic part of it so if you want to like to do some tricks on it you can you can do them uh, it depends with your style so I'll just show you like two tricks that you can do uh, in such a flip double or a beat grid so we play it and listen to it again and analyze analyze where we can do a trick so what I can do I can come the first thing I can come and highlight the, the lower ones, all of them, then reduce its volume till the, let's say in the middle, negative, negative 6.0, yeah. So when you play this, it will sound like, yeah, that's one trick so you can just uh, click and do to, to eliminate the volume. So another thing that you can do, you can just come. And make sure yeah, it's like this uh, two boxes i can say two boxes from one bo uh, four boxes from one bold line to another bold line in between there are four small boxes so you'll just come over here and slice slice and delete slice and slice and delete yeah so when you listen to it this it all sound like <laughs> Yeah, much better and professional the other one. It's kind of too loud. We'll play it again. Yeah, just like that. Then you can come and uh, drag your song to keep uh, to make it continue. Yeah, so we we play it from the top and we hear what you come up with. Just like that. Let me see how long we've gone. 18 minutes is enough. So for other tricks, I will do it on the next part. I don't want to keep it long. So for this little thing that you have done, you can do a lot of things. Uh, I usually say where the teacher left it at, you can carry on and make it your own now. So see you in the next tutorial for any assistance. For anything that you want oh, and for the guys who want the delay effect just comment your email address and i will hook you up with it so see you in the next tutorial and i've been sub <laughs>